Welcome, glory to God, to Life Journey Glory Church. And the reason why it's Life Journey because life is a journey, and God get all the glory. I'm Theophilus, and the people might ask me, "What do I believe?" I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible is a hundred percent authoritative, authoritative of the Word of God. I believe the Word of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is God. I believe that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. I believe God. I believe God is almighty. I believe that you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of God. If you're not born again, you are damned. The Bible says, He that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. The Bible says, If you don't believe that I am He, you're going to die in your sin. Glory to God. Ten reasons why witches are heavily in our churches. Yes, ten reasons why witches are heavily in our churches. And I must read this. First Samuel 22 verse 23 and it read and Samuel said have the Lord as great delight in burnt offering and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams for rebellion for what rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry because thou have rejected the word of the Lord he have also rejected thee from being king and Saul said unto Samuel I have sinned I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy word because I fear the people and obey their voice ten reason why Christian witches are among us heavily. Ten reasons why witchcraft, Christian witches, among us heavily. Yes, they're among us heavily. And I would like to go down to number ten first and work myself up. Number ten, I have seen, I have some in law which are Christian witches because they're stubborn concerning love. So they hate. Yes, state, I state again. I have some in-laws that are hateful and they are manipulative and controlling. Hold on to grudges. They use the gospel as a portion to confuse people that are not well versed of the Holy Spirit failed. Yes, I got some hallelujah in-laws and some family members are witches. Hey, glory to God. I'm not taking back. I will say it again. I have in-laws that are Christian witches. And the reason why I say you're a Christian witch is because number one, you're stubborn. Number two, glory to God, you go to church all these years and you still haven't changed. Yes, you be going to church all these years and you have not been changed. You're still the same. You're still the same since 86. Now we're in 2019 and you're still you are still the same. You are a hypocrite. Hey, glory to God. You are a Christian witch. Because the Bible say, hey, glory to God. He say that have the Lord have great delight in rams. It's the be to, to be obedience is better than sacrifice. So all the church you're going to and you're still stubborn, you are a witch. Hey, glory to God. Stubbornness. Is a form of witchcraft, rebellion, and idolatry. You ain't got to have a statue up in your house or a statue in your pocketbook or a statue on your thing. My friend, by you having a statue in your mind called rebellion, a statue in your mind called idolatry. Yes, some family members, in-laws and family members are witches because you are stubborn, said the Bible. Number nine, witches is of the flesh. As in Galatians 5, 5, number 20, I believe, glory to God. Hallelujah, is of the flesh. So that is the manipulative and controller of uh, seduction. The one that holds grudges, it formulates into a spirit. My friend, we think that witch is a person with a hat 
and 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 black clothes and and black fingernail and and red lip. No, my friend, a witch is a person of a, of no matter. They are manipulative. They are controlling. They are superior. Hey, glory to God. They hold grudges. They are witches. They are hateful beings. I'm talking about Christian witches in the church. And they think they, they are Christian. No, you're a Christian witch. Hey, glory to God. Number eight. They are, hate, they are hard to spot through the flesh. We must have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, said the Bible. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in 1 John 4, 1 says, Behold, believe not every spirit. But try the spirit whether it be of God, because many false prophets have gone out in the world. Number seven. Yes, you can you can Google them or catch them on Facebook live or Facebook. You can Google them. There are Christian witches among us heavily. Number six. Why Christian witches call themselves Christian? Because they are spiritists. They know the Bible. But they're not living the word of God. They have the letter, but a killer, but a spirit make alive. Hallelujah. It's not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. The letter kill it, my friend, but a spirit. Some of y'all are Pharisees and scribes. Some of y'all are Moses disciples. Y'all still hold law to grudges. And glory to God. Yes, yeah, some people in my family and family member are witches. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And number fifth reason, what start this? I mentioned in, in 1 Samuel 22, for rebellion is a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is iniquity and idolatry. This is the sin of divination. Number four, they sit in the service and try to bind you. Paul in Galatian church say, who have bewitched you? Who have duped you? Who have bamboozled you? They should not obey the truth. The word of God is the truth. And if anybody tell you to go against the word of God, they are witches. Hey, glory to God. A witch, my friend, people think a witch is a person with black hat. Got a lot of cats. <laughs> Their house is dark. No, my friend, a witch is an no, ordinary person that don't look like a witch. But if you have a journal spirit, you can tell they are witches. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 number three. And the third reason, they they see Simon was a good witch, but he got delivered. Simon, Simeon, he bewitched the people of Samaria. But Philip came preach the gospel. And he decided that it's time for me to put down my witchcraft and pick up the wonderful counselor, which is Jesus Christ. And he got delivered from the sorcery. He got delivered from witchcraft. He gave his life to Jesus Christ and got a nerve to want to buy it. But Peter said, you're the God of bitterness. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm saying 10 reasons why witchcraft, glory to God, Christian witches are heavily in the building. Not in God, but in the building. Because you can't be a witch in, in God now. They're in the building. They're in the brick and mortar. They're not in God. Because if you're in God, you are saved. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're in God, you are delivered. But in the building, they have a form. The Bible says they have a form of godliness, but they're denying the power thereof. You have a form. What is a form? You carry a Bible. You dress up every, every Sunday and Saturday. And you think you're saved. You're not saved, my friend. You are saved when you don't stay the same. Glory to God. Let me say it again. You are saved when you don't stay the same. You are. The Bible says, if any man being Christ, he's a new creature, new creation. All things are passed away. All things become new. Ten reasons why witchcraft, hallelujah, is heavily in the building, in the church. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, they, the, the thing, the four gospel are, are God's spells. So they twist it and say this is a good spell. The gospel ain't no, ain't a witchcraft spell. Matthew talk about the king. Jesus Christ was a king because he was, he was a stinking stable. Mark said so he was a servant. Mark got 16 chapter. Hey, glory to God. Luke said he was a man. Hallelujah, 100% God 
and one hundred percent man because the the man Jesus walked on water, and John, the eagle prophet, he said he was God divine. So how can you say that the gospel is a, is a portion for the witches? No, it's not. No, it's not. Those four gospels are the good news to bring salvation to you. He glory to God. And number one reason, he glory to God. They think that the Magi was witches that came with gift for Jesus. And that's why I'm telling you something. That's why I'm not, I'm not a person that love gifts. Because gift, glory to God, uh, bribe the wise. Gift, my friend, is trickery. But these magi, they were Hebrew scholars. These magi wasn't witches. So get this in your heart skull. These magi was not the magician. There was, there was Hebrew scholars that were following the stars, astrologer. And they saw that Jesus Christ was the God that they've been reading about in the, in the, in the, in the books of the, 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 the Psalms and, and the book of prof, prophets and book of glory to God of even uh, uh, the five uh, Torah. They were scholars. They was not magician. Let me, let, me, let me say it again. They were not magician. They were scholars of the Hebrew text. So that's why, my friend, keep your gift to yourself. Hallelujah, because your gift might have tricks in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for the best gift, which is the Holy Ghost. So, 10 reasons why Christian witches are heavily in the building. I'm not going to say church.